so we're gonna take and we are going to trim our oil diffuser to where our bowl will fit inside of our piece. So it kind of looks like it'll fit a little bit. Obviously we have to trim this off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a complete dome. And then after this is set up, I, we're not gonna trim. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take and rub this with our thumb to make a really nice edge instead of trimming. Sometimes I'll do that with mugs. I don't necessarily flip mugs upside down, something that's this small. I don't um, trim. I put a nice little edge that I like on it here. And you can kind of see that so it looks like it lifts up and lifts off. So we're gonna set this to the side. We're gonna keep it close enough because we want to be able to take a quick measure. So we know we need it to be about four and a half on the outside but going from the interior room, it needs to be more like four inches. So from here to here needs to fit within that four inches. So let's move our piece off. I have a bat that has some of the lines on it that um, just drawn on by a Sharpie marker. It kind of gives you a little way to cheat. You can kind of look and adjust to see if it's gonna be on center. You can either use your fingernail upside down or you can grab your pin tool. Now you see there's all this like little extra clay on the edge that's just kind of a little bit of a skirt that wasn't cut off. This will throw you off. It'll make you feel like this part is wider but it really isn't. So we wanna make sure that we are um, measuring the actual piece. So I'm gonna put my finger underneath so I can touch that and use that, not necessarily going from that flange, but that underneath part. And it should be equal regardless. So that's pretty good. So you can see I can Take our coils, north, south, east, and west, right? We're gonna hold our piece down, wrap it around, and then push straight down on a half. Because we don't want our piece to actually stick to um, our little slug. We don't want it to stick to our piece. We just want to keep it secure. So, I'm gonna, def I'm gonna take this little edge off at first with my um, loop tool. So just peel right off. And so now I'm gonna take this outside edge and just start to round up. When I mean round up, I mean I start on the side and I'll work up until I round off this corner because we want it more like a dome and less like a pot. So I know that I need for this part how it kind of angles in right in here and in here. So I want to try and match that shape this way. So I'm going to push in and push and round again as I go up. One way to kind of check, you can take and turn this upside down and see if it fits. If it feels kind of funky, like it doesn't really sit in, you can trim a little bit more. You always want to tap to make sure. That's why on these you want to throw them a little bit thicker so you have a little wiggle room. And plus, You've got flame on it, so a little bit of a light flame. Always remember that um, our clay typically doesn't go on an open flame. A little tiny tea light candle is not going to be an issue, but if you put a pot on a stove top, 
the bottom of that pot is going to be a different temperature than the rim of that pot and where those two temperatures start to meet and collide they can actually crack and break um, Corningware is a ceramic material, but um, it's been tempered. It's almost like Pyrex, you know, you can kind of heat up Pyrex in that fashion. So I'm going to keep trimming. Make that little indent there so it has a little ledge to sit. I can easily trim through this because it's just, like I said, I, I used to hate trimming. And it slowly became my favorite thing. Especially when you get a good tool that cuts and it just peels right off. It's a thing of beauty. All right, so now let's turn this upside down and sit it on there. And it, it looks like it fits pretty well. Um, if you want it to fit a little bit more, um, a little bit deeper, you can roll back the top of we're not moving the the, the actual snug ability <laughs> I guess you could say of the um, what a made-up word uh, of the coil we just want to pull it back so we can kind of expose that clay a little bit more on that edge and then smooth that out make it look one another a little bit better. This me it almost looks, ends up looking like a top, like a little hat or a safari hat. Finish that up with the red rib. And we'll peel this back to reveal our little safari hat. to remember is when we cut that um, that little archway when I first started doing these I was like oh, I'm gonna make the archway really big and it's gonna be great because I'm gonna have a lot of airflow and then I cut it so big that you could see the bottom of the bowl from the inside and it didn't look that great so I started going a little bit lower and wider and making um, holes on the inside so in the next video we'll talk about um, cutting that uh, little archway out, how to make that arch shape, and then using the drill to drill some holes. Or if you want to carve into it with um, an X-Acto, if you have a little design you want to carve into, you can totally do that too. So we'll see you in the next video.